let's just sew whatever. Hello everybody and welcome back to Pattern Chat episode 16. Woo! It's not that exciting. Uh, today we have a plethora of pretty patterns I'm super excited to share with you. Um, once again, if we do not mention your pattern, I'm so sorry. Um, I have a small group of people that kind of collect new releases as we see them. Some people email me that they released a new pattern, so I try to add it. Um, but again, it's nothing personal. We just missed it, so I apologize. Um, if you have a new pattern, feel free to email me a link to it. You don't have to send me the actual pattern, please. Um, I will pay for it if I decide I want to make it. Um, but yeah, let's just jump right in. First, we have the Ymir. I feel like I'm saying it wrong and I'm so sorry. Uh, this is the Skull Passport Holder, <laughs> which is super cool. So you may have seen the wallet like this, and now you can have a passport holder. Uh, so this one's pretty cool. She did send me this, and I really want to make it. So thank you, Erin. I just have not found the time, but it's pretty freaking cool. Thank you, sir. So there's that one. The next one we have is the Narcissist pattern. This is from Hollow Bag Creations. This is their first pattern. This one is pretty freaking cool. Um, she did send this one to me to test and I didn't get a chance, but it looks awesome. And those who did test it did an incredible job. Um, so there's all different variations. That flap is so cool. It's a nice wide bottom bag. Um, you can add different things to the flap. You can see there. Oh, and there's a little sneaky zipper pocket. Um, and then you could also add a handle to the top. Ben, can you just lay down? You can see there, you can add the handle to it. So this one is so cool. So many creative testers too. Love it. It's a nice rounded bottom. Nice and easy. Ooh, look at that binding. Or is that piping? Oh, just kind of like accent. Very cool. Oh, I love seeing the creativity. Oh, look at that. Aloha, Mora. A little open. I like it. All right. The next one we are going to discuss is the Minimalist Wallet and Air Tag Holder. This is from Clutch Couture Designs. Get out of here. This is so cute. So you've got a little air tag, air tag holder piece here. Oh, that's a neat little closure, but it's just a super minimalist situation. Love it. What a great little gift and scrap buster. All right, so this next one is from Inaliti Designs. This is the Luna Drawstring Bucket Bag. Super cute. Ooh, I love that side accent piece. Nice round bucket bag, zipper overlay. Well, that's really creative to use the smaller zipper ends on your bucket piece. Okay, the next one is from Sacratone Designs. This is the Lotus Bag. Look how cute. Wow, look at that flap. Huh. So it looks like it's a lot of fun with piping. This definitely doesn't look like a beginner bag, but yeah, stunning. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Oh. So cool. Oh, look at that little bow. All right. This next one is from IC or Issy So Patterns or ISY. Uh, this is the Freedom Trio set. This is a three piece collection of bag and wristlets with small and medium wristlets as well as large crossbody bag. This set is a complete solution for everyday general use. Wow, and super cool accent pieces. Wow. Looks like they all kind of work with one another. Crossbody, wristlet, pouch. 
Those are so cute. That looks like, again, another good scrap buster. Oh, look at those colors. Um, and then this is from So Much Magic. This is the Aquarius train case PDF pattern. Oh, wow. It's a spacious bag with many possible uses. Use it as a toiletry bag to transport art supplies, even make a cute mini picnic case. This two level train crease has a top section easily accessed with a dual zipper flap and a bottom section that opens completely with a wraparound zipper. It's eight by 12 by seven and it is a bound lining. So you can see there's binding in there. Ugh, I have to blow my nose. I'm so tired of being sick. This one looks really cool. And if I had more time in the day, I would definitely get this one to make because it looks really handy. Ah, I love it. Wow. And it looks fairly easy. Like, it doesn't look super easy, but it looks fairly easy for what it is. Like, to be like, I handmade this, you'd be like, oh, what? So that's awesome. All right, next is the Mighty Mini Crossbody Phone Bag PDF Sewing Pattern from Spencer Og. This is a super cute, like, unisex style bag. Just hold your phone. And you can use a magnetic clasp or a turn lock. Uh, removable and fixed strap options. Then, so that looks really fun and easy. It looks like a really good beginner bag as well. This next one is the Duplicity Handbag from Sew Yours. Wowza. Um, she sent me this pattern and I really want to make it. Also, that bow is so cute. Um, but there, this is a double-sided bag. Um, the construction is really easy. It's actually a drop-in lining which is really, really cool. And I think the size of it is so cute. Like it's not super big, but so people, people would really love this one. Um, if you make bags to sell, I think this one looks really good. And if you haven't checked out Sew Yours, you definitely need to. Um, she is now starting to sell like hardware, etc. So you can get kits for her bags, etc. So I think that's awesome. All right, next is from Shambhala Designs. This is the Camilla. 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 <sighs> Reading is hard. Um, bag pattern. This one is pretty cute. I'm not as impressed with this one as I am all the others, but that has nothing to do with the bag. It just has something to do with me. Um, I'm like trying to keep her ego in check, you know. Not that she watches this, but you never know. I'm totally kidding, by the way. Um, but this one is pretty cute. With the grommets on the top. Looks fairly easy as well, as far as the Shambhala bags go. So it's an intermediate level. It's 9 by 14 by 4, so it's not super small, but... It looks very classy. Uh, this next one is from K as Kona Designs. One scoop pouch sewing pattern. I think uh, Sia Swag just did a video on this one. It's so cute. There's um, add-on options as well so that you can make different kinds of ice cream cones. But it's just a little zipper pouch. It's so cute. Look at that one. So that one's really fun. And this next one is from Starfish Embroidery. This is the Fold Over Wow Wallet with credit card slots. It's an in the hoop wallet. So that is really cool. So it's two hoopings, eight sizes for hoops, five by seven to 14 by nine and a half. <clears throat> so that's really cool. Looks like you pretty much just add your hardware um, I have not done a lot of in-the-hoop embroidery designs, but this one looks really cool. <laughs> Fun. All right, so this next one is from Lavender and Twine. I'm sure you've seen this one all over. It is the Harith handbag 
with videos. It was a bag of the month exclusive and now she's out. She's free. She's a free woman. You can buy her on the website. It's absolutely stunning. I do have this pattern because I was in bag of the month. I just haven't had the mental energy to make it. Um, but lavender and twine patterns comes with videos that you can watch. They're very in-depth, so don't be scared. Jump right in. Just do it. Uh, this next one is from Elaine Honey. This is the Maggie handbag pattern. This has a really fun flap on the front. That's a nice size, too. But she's so cute. Very pretty. Is it two sizes? And then there is a wristlet included. It is not two sizes. It's 14 wide, 10 high, 4 inches deep. So it's a good, good sized bag. It's really cute. There is a center divider, which is very cool. Look how classy that is. Is it two sizes? It feels like two sizes. Anyway, it looks... Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Read the words. Okay, the finish size is big. The bag is also wonderful when made at 85%. I have included the relevant zip size adjustments in order to make it at this size. So this is 100% and this is 85%. Both sizes are super cute. Uh, this next one is the Plumbago Organizer Pouch from Blue Kala. Ooh, that's pretty cool. Wow, uh, I need that fold over elastic. That is super cute. So this looks great for art supplies or sewing supplies, etc. Again, if I had all the time in the world, I would definitely make this one because it is super cute and looks super useful. Oh, crap. I X'd out of one. Uh, we'll come back. All right, so the next one is the Legend Wallet, and this is Madness Creations by Heather Marie. This one is pretty cool. Oh, oh it's an Eda wallet. That is so cool. So you can use it to, like, use up a scrap if you wanted. Okay, let me read this. I can't see my phone's right there. The legend is unlike any other wallet you've made. This interchangeable insert wallet can be made to match any handbag or backpack you have by simply making a new insert. You get out of here. This wallet also comes with an optional Eda window as the feature wallet flap so you can show up all your favorite pins without the worry of losing them. This wallet includes 12 card slots, two banknotes, slip pockets, an exterior zipper pocket for all your change, and double magnetic closure. Finish measurement is about four and a quarter by eight and three eighths inch when closed. Pattern includes written instructions, photos to help, measurements for basic shapes, plus all pattern pieces for pieces that require cutout sections are included in printable form. And then there's a YouTube video link right there. This is so cool. Thank you, Heather, for reaching out to me about this pattern. Uh, look at that nice supernatural. So it looks like it might be a raw edge wallet, but you can add your... How cool! Ooh, look at that Gengar pull. It's super cool. And yeah, you just slide your fabric in and out of that flap. Wow. That's pretty fucking cool. Sorry to curse, but it is. So definitely check out this wallet pattern if you've been looking for a new wallet pattern. All right, this next one is from KB Crafts. This is the Crossroads Carry All PDF Pattern and Extra Files. Um, okay, wait, what? These are a bunch of different bags. I'm confused. Oh, okay, so there's several versions of it. That's a really cool front um, design. And I like that it uses up scraps of zipper tape more or less nice little zipper overlay a little buckle action very very cool um and then what are the extra files uh all is included in a youtube video 
and then there's a link for it, and then there's a small and a large version. And then you can check out all their other patterns as well. And this next one is the Lasaya mini backpack from So Pretty Designs. Uh, this is named after her friends Leslie and Kasaya, which I think is so cute. Lasaya is such a pretty name. Um, it's got this really pretty accent piece here. It's a nice tall backpack. Um, here we go. Now we can see more about it. It's not super wide, which is really cool. Sometimes you don't want a super, super bulky backpack, but I like the construction. It looks like it's um, a rounded gusset. It is finished with binding. Yes, it's finished with binding. Looks really pretty. So definitely check out that one if you've been in the market for a new mini backpack. Uh, this next one is from Needle and Anchor Supply Co. This is the Beachcomber Wallet and Beachcomber Folio. So again, I love, love, love that they kind of all mimic each other. I love that she's created a new wallet. I feel like wallets are so tricky to make. Um, there's so many different wallet patterns out there, but they're just, they're not easy to make sometimes. But this one looks really fun. So it's got that front flap to it, card slots inside, zipper pocket. Oh, that's so pretty. I love that view of it too. And then there's a back slip pocket. I love that this is just moving. I don't have to do anything to it. So this is really pretty. If you've been in the market for a new wallet, you want to... Then, seriously, um, check this out. Be sure to do so. This next one is the Georgina Convertible Tote. This is from Deja Designs Patterns. This one is so cool. I love those strap connectors. So fun. And it's a good way to play with like color blocking, etc. So you can see all the different options here. Oh, I was like, those aren't people. <laughs> Look how pretty it is. And it can be worn as a tote bag, a backpack, crossbody, etc. You could use it as um, like a, a wheelchair bag as well, I would think. Let's see. Very cool. This next one is from KM Designs Pattern Co. This is the Eve. Was created first, it looks like it says. But it has really pretty accents. It's got that front tassel -y closure thing. Back slip pocket. Ooh. really pretty. I love the piping too. This next one is from the Folk Art Factory. This is the Brooklyn Mini Crossbody Bag. Oh, it's so cute. It's just a little round cell phone bag with a front zipper pocket. Was it finished with binding? Looks like it's finished with binding. But this looks like a really easy simple bag. Okay, and this next one is the Travel Companion Crossbody by It's So Kelly, a show-off pouch add-on. So if you have the show-off pouch, you can add this to it. <laughs> Very cool. Okay. And this next one is the Darling Wallet by Purses by Holly. So this is another like collection of patterns that are very similar to each other. Did I talk about this one last week? Last time? I don't remember. But this is really cute. I love that um, little divider there. 
Uh, this next one is a new pattern from Zorel. It is their first pattern. This is the Bow Fanny Pack. <laughs> it's so cute. I have seen these all over Facebook. I just think they're so much fun. I love these ones that look a little more structured like a bow, but they're all cute. Oh, oh, a clear one? Oh, I love that. Well, that's a fun idea. It's so cute. Um, so you can get that one from ZorelFabrics.com, and then of course you can check out their vinyls and hardware and fabric, and they got pre-order, and they got all kinds of stuff. I love it. And they're gonna be at So Magical. I will be too, but. <laughs> um, this next one is from Sophisticated Craft Designs. This is the Sophisticated Trio. One pattern with three sizes. There's a video tutorial, SVG files, and projector files. And it pairs perfectly with the Fold and Go backpack. So cute. I really love the clear ones and I kind of want to make one. Oh, there's my friend Susie. Oh, got me with that tangled fabric. So these are perfect. You can wear it as a crossbody or use them to pack yourself up. I love the shape of it. Is it a... Um, Oh yeah, it's like a little dumpling situation. So it, it has a gusset to it and then you use binding. So you wanna make sure that you use thin enough binding. And there is a video tutorial, video tutorial by Sweet Honey Bee. So cute. All right, this next one is another Shambhala. This is the Amatiz, Amatista bag pattern. It's got this fun fringe. I love that flap. I love how the flap covers the fringe. This one looks so good. A nice gusset and there's piping. I love that handle. It's crossbody. Chef's kiss. And this next one is a video tutorial. This one is from DIY Sewing Mimi. It is a easy coin purse wallet and card holder. I thought this looked super fun. I wonder if I can mute it and play the video. Yeah, for just a little bit so you can see it. It's got that fun little flap to it. You can add your tissues, um, you can add your cards. There's a zippered pocket up at the top. And then there's a little tissue section. It's so cute. So I'm not gonna show you the tutorial. I'm gonna link it down below so you can check it out yourself, but it's super cute. And then the last one is from Bagstack Designs. This is the Plumeria crossbody bag. Um, this was a full size bag, but then um, she scaled it down to be a crossbody. So this one is super cute. I'm trying to find more descriptive words, but I'm running out. It's just really good. It's from Bagstock, so you know it's going to be good. Um, but that is it for Pattern Chat. Thank you again so much to all of the designers for creating new things and putting yourself out there and putting in the hours to create the patterns. They are exhausting. Um, um, <laughs> that's it. I'm out. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all next time. Bye.